hi my name's ash welcome to my little corner of the internet today on the topic of fashion i wanted to talk about how you can be more innovative in the way that you dress in the way that you purchase things in the way that you style things i think there's just so much room for creativity especially in terms of researching fast fashion and in the ways that you can be more ethical and sustainable in the way that you style your clothes in the way that you buy clothes source clothes what have you i think creativity is the best way to start on your journey because it can be a bit overwhelming it's a lot of information there's a lot of people who overcomplicate it today i just wanted to discuss ways that you can use your creativity ways that you can look at things because it's really all about perspective so that is the first thing we're going to be talking about it is way too hot to have things on my face the first point of discussion today is going to be perspective. So perspective, one man's trash is another man's treasure, that kind of thing. Sometimes it can be hard to constantly source things that are slow fashion or from companies who are well on their way to becoming that way. I love making my own things. A lot of the times instead of buying jewellery, I like to make my own. And instead of buying lots of straps and chains and belts for my pants and stuff i will actually make my own it's really fun it's really simple and i think if you just try and look at things in a different way like taking a safety pin and saying hey that's a safety pin cool but what can i do with it how can i incorporate it how can i make it look cool it's all about incorporating things into your own style and that can be literally anything recycling things is one of the best ways that you can start making your own things all of the stuff that i've recycled and that i've used and incorporated into my fashion sense is the stuff that I get complimented on the most out of everything. So it's really cool and it's really personal, it's individual, it's one of a kind because you've made it, it's yours. It's a really good way of refraining from buying too much. When you're making your own stuff, at least you know exactly where it's coming from, you know exactly what's going into it, it's yours, it's personal. It's a great way of avoiding the temptation of going to fast fashion brands to source your jewelry, any other products, etc. And cheaper. Fashion really is an art form. It's putting things on your body that make you feel confident, that are your style, and each person's style is very individual. And some people won't understand your style, some people will. It's just like all up for interpretation, which is exactly what art is, except your body is the gallery. <laughs> and I really think it's a lot of fun to go thrift shopping, make a challenge for yourself to find items that are obscure that you can actually use that you wouldn't really think of using in an outfit. So for a bit of inspiration, I thought I'd show you guys some of the pieces that I've made and maybe it will inspire you to make your own. In fact, I challenge you to make your own. Do it, I'm holding you to it. So I have a few pieces here and I'm just gonna run through what each piece is. This has a few pieces to it. These little jump rings and stuff are ones that I accumulated. They came off like pants that I got ages ago and I just used these bits because I wasn't using them. So I have attached them. This is like a little jump ring that comes undone. This is just a chain that I found around the house. This was actually an earring, um, which I wasn't wearing anymore. No, I do not worship Satan. That's not what this is. And I attached everything together. And what we have is this bad boy and it attaches to whatever you'd like it to attach to. Something that I really love incorporating into my outfits is chains, lots of metal, lots of gold, lots of little crazy details because it just kind of toughens up the outfit and the more layers of like chains and things that I have on, I find the more comfortable I feel. So whenever I can, I like to try and source my own things like this that I can make myself out of things that are not getting any use and I don't have to outsource things like this from companies that may not be doing so well for the planet so 
The next thing I have is also a chain. It's a little necklace actually, made out of all recycled things. So this chain was a really old chain of mine. I'm pretty sure it was from a necklace that I had in my childhood and I just reused it. This is from a diary I had when I was like six. And this key was actually to an earring that I could no longer wear because it was irritating my ears. You know how when it's not real gold and it's just, yeah, anyway. So this is what it is. I get asked about it all the time. I specifically get asked if this is my house key and I would not trust myself to wear my house key around my neck because somehow I would lose it. Something would happen, I just know it. If it's around my neck, don't. I won't lose this, but as soon as I put something that I cannot lose on it, I'm gonna lose it. The next thing I have is actually an old bag strap to a bag that, well, I don't use this strap anymore for it at least. It's just a simple black strap and I like to attach it to my pants. It's really good because it's adjustable so I can make it longer, shorter, depending on what I'm wearing. And I've actually been wearing this a lot lately, so it's a really good way if you have any like plain bag straps, even like chain bag straps. The next thing I have is not something that I particularly made, but they're things that I find really fun to accessorize with. They're just safety pins. With safety pins, I've made earrings. I've made crop tops with these dangling off the bottom hem. Um, there's so many things that you can do. I make these earrings annually every Easter. The lint chocolate bunnies come out and I just dropped one but I really don't want to pick it up. The lint chocolate bunnies come out and they have that bow around their neck with the bell on it and each year I take the bells off all of the ones I can find and I make little earrings out of them and they're like little dangly earrings and you'll never lose me. They're great on a night out if you're getting a little bit tipsy people know where to find me because I just hear a little well there she is and then I have these little things these are just out of like things that I had from when I was younger like there's this little this little like toy cup thing that I had and I just put like some fake blood inside and then I have a little key here that I stuck a little googly eye on and it's just like a really interesting little combo Another little tip I have to be more, I guess, innovative with the way you go about fashion is just going into it with an open mind. For example, if I go thrift shopping, I don't go thrift shopping with like a certain thing in mind to say this is what I'm going to get today or else. I just go in there and see what I can find and I never rule things out like if I think, oh, that doesn't look like my style. Think about what you can do with it. Just open your mind, don't be too judgy. Think about all the ways that you can tailor it, that you can change it. Just basically all the ways that you can make something your own. For example, this top was actually thrifted and it was a pajama top. There are so many ways that you can wear this. You can wear it over an outfit, you can use it as the top, you can have it off the shoulders, on the shoulders. There are so many different ways and I just really loved the little love heart print. I thought it was really cool. And the thing is, I'm not trying to disguise it so it doesn't look like a pajama top because it still has the dynamics of a pajama top. But it's been really cool to just style it and it's a cool new pattern in my wardrobe. It's versatile, it's very comfortable because it is a pajama top. And honestly, before I opened my mind up a lot more to exploring fashion, all the different avenues you can go down, I really wouldn't have picked this up, like at all. I would have probably not even seen it in the way that I've grown into my own sort of style and am still growing into my own style, the more open my mind gets and the more creative and fun things get. So I am totally always up for a challenge. And some things work and some things don't, but you'll figure that out along the way. But yeah, that was my little thrifty tip. I hope you enjoyed. Please let me know what you would like to see next and I'll talk to you very soon. Bye! Ow!